Welcome to Train Sim World 2, an immersive and highly detailed rail simulation featuring authentic routes and trains from around the world. You've just been awarded some action points. These are displayed in the top right corner of the screen and count towards your overall experience. It is necessary to be fully observant of the surrounding world. Practice by looking up, down, left and right. Besides operating trains, there are lots of requirements to navigate on foot. Try moving around now. This is one of many interactives to be discovered, but not all of them will be as easy to find as this one. You can pause the experience at any point and review previous and current objectives. Check it out now, then return to the game when ready. A lot of time will be spent operating trains, so when ready, sit in the driver's seat. A heads up display has appeared on the right side of the screen. This is a guide to what the train is doing. This is the speed display. The white needle shows current speed. The red marker indicates the maximum permitted speed. This is the direction display. An arrow will indicate forward, reverse and neutral directions. This is the power display. A number will indicate what position the power control is in. These are brake indicators. They show the state of various brake systems, allowing independent management of them. In the top right are the signal and speed limit displays. These feature an indication of what is approaching and countdown distance to when they will come into effect. Some of these displays can be hidden via the settings menu for a more challenging experience. This train is ready to go. Push the indicated handle all the way forward to get moving. The Bakerloo line runs for just 15 miles, but along that length it connects the suburbs of Harrow, the affluent districts of Maida Vale and Marlebone, and famous places such as Baker Street, Oxford Street and Piccadilly Circus. The trains that operate are the oldest on the network, taking their name from the year they were introduced, 1972 Tube Stock. They feature seven carriages in 4 plus 3 configuration. Congratulations! 
This is just the beginning of your experience. There is much more to be explored. Welcome to the London Underground. Join the ranks to keep millions of annual passengers moving between the suburbs and world-famous locations throughout central London. Take to the controls of the oldest tube trains on the network and convey commuters from residential to commercial districts across the city. Along the way, don't forget to place route maps, repair platform monitors, put up posters and restock newspaper dispensers. This is the Bakerloo Line. Welcome to Train Sim World 2, an immersive and highly detailed rail simulation featuring authentic routes and trains from around the world. You've just been awarded some action points. These are displayed in the top right corner of the screen and count towards your overall experience. It is necessary to be fully observant of the surrounding world. Practice by looking up, down, left and right. Besides operating trains, there are lots of requirements to navigate on foot. Try moving around now. This is one of many interactives to be discovered, but not all of them will be as easy to find as this one. You can pause the experience at any point and review previous and current objectives. Check it out now, then return to the game when ready. A lot of time will be spent operating trains, so when ready, sit in the driver's seat. A heads-up display has appeared on the right side of the screen. This is a guide to what the train is doing. This is the speed display. The white needle shows current speed. The red marker indicates the maximum permitted speed. This is the direction display. An arrow will indicate forward, reverse and neutral directions. This is the power display. A number will indicate what position the power control is in. These are brake indicators. They show the state of the various brake systems, allowing independent management of them. In the top right, there are the signal and speed limit displays. These feature an indication of what is approaching and a countdown distance to when they will come into effect. Some of these displays can be hidden via the settings menu for a more challenging experience. This train is ready to go. Push the indicated handle all the way forwards to get moving.
The line from here runs to the border with Holland and Belgium and forms part of the international network of services that operate across Europe. This particular train is a third-generation intercity express built by Siemens in Germany for international operations. It is formed of eight cars and has a top speed of 320 kilometers per hour. Other internal and external camera views are available to be explored. These can be accessed from the camera menu. You've only explored a small area here, so let's take a look at what else there is to enjoy. Welcome to West Germany. Prepare yourself for a high-speed ride on the world's first international railway line, linking Köln with Holland and Belgium. Experience the thrill of driving the highly modern ICE 3M electric high-speed train up to 250 km per hour, or take in the sights of the border region while riding the versatile BR442 Talent 2 articulated multiple unit. International Express or Tranquil Commuter Service, you set the pace. Along the way, don't forget to place route maps, apply safety signage, place hazard cones and restock first aid points. Welcome to the Köln-Aachen High Speed Line. Welcome to Train Sim World 2, an immersive and highly detailed rail simulation featuring authentic routes and trains from around the world. You've just been awarded some action points. These are displayed in the top right corner of the screen and count towards your overall experience. It is necessary to be fully observant of the surrounding world. Practice by looking up, down, left and right. Besides operating trains, there are lots of requirements to navigate on foot. Try moving around now. This is one of many interactives to be discovered, but not all of them. Climb aboard and take a seat in the cab with the engineers for a short ride. You can pause the experience at any point and review previous and current objectives. Check it out now and then return to the game when ready. A lot of time will be spent operating trains, so when ready, sit in the engineer's seat. A heads-up display has appeared on the right side of the screen. This is a guide to what the train is doing. This is the speed display. The white needle shows current speed. The red marker indicates the maximum permitted speed. This is the direction display. An arrow will indicate forward, reverse and neutral directions. 
This is the power display. A number will indicate what position the power control is in. These are brake indicators. They show the state of the various brake systems, allowing independent management of them. In the top right are the signal and speed limit displays. These feature an indication of what is approaching and a countdown distance to when they will come into effect. Some of these displays can be hidden via the settings menu for a more challenging experience. This train is ready to go. Pull the indicated handle all the way back to get moving. Sandpatch Grade offers the ability to operate powerful and heavy freight trains on one of America's most stunning and famous railroads. You are currently riding an AC 4400 CW locomotive. These are the workhorses of trains operating over the Sandpatch Grade, with CSX Transportation having more than 600 in its roster. Train Sim World allows you to ride and drive trains from a selection of internal and external camera angles. Let's take a look now by exploring the exterior of this train. Other internal and external camera views are available to be explored. These can be accessed from the number keys. You've only explored a small area here. So let's take a look at what else there is to enjoy. Welcome to Pennsylvania. Crossing the Allegheny Mountains, the Sandpatch Grade is a vital link in the sprawling CSX rail system. Master the controls of powerful American freight locomotives operating out of the vast Cumberland Yard facility. Whether the sun is shining, there's a rain shower, or a full-on snow blizzard, it's up to you to keep the rail traffic moving. Battle your way over one of the steepest railroad grades on the East Coast. Along the way, don't forget to place safety posters, collect lost hard hats, put up no trespassing signage, and fix broken snow markers. Welcome to the Sandpatch Grade. <laughs> 